Hey everybody, today we're going to do the ultimate meat and potatoes hashtag fire and ice dinner. How do you do this? Super easy. First we're going to marinate our um, flank steak. So to that, I got some onions that I have cut up. Then I'm going to cut up some jalapenos, put throughout part of the fire, you know. And then with the leftover jalapeno, I'm going to dice these bad boys up. Seeds and all. Just to make them go farther. Because we want the fire. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do is sprinkle it with garlic powder. I mean garlic salt. Sorry. There's the dogs. Blackened seasoning. This adds a great pepperiness to it, plus it also adds more heat. Don't under season. Remember, it's going to be with potatoes, so it's got to stand up to that. Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. If you've not tried this, y'all, it is really something else. And then finally, on top of this, <clears throat> we're going to do a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Why? It adds just a hint of flavor. And vinegar is awesome. I'm just going to drop it around. Vinegar is awesome for um, tenderizing meat. All right, that is done. Let's flip it over and do the same thing to this side. Booyah, that's done. The next thing we're gonna do is our chopped up jalapeno. We're just gonna throw on there, spread it all around nice. Our onion, as I throw it all over. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate for about six hours. Let's prep our potatoes. So, first thing you're gonna need is a kick casserole dish. I peeled six potatoes and I'm gonna cut them into large chunks. Booyah. Next, all of our potatoes are done while they're cut up. We're gonna do a half a stick of butter. It may seem like a lot, but we're gonna crisp them up in the oven. So get these babies all covered up in butter. This ultimate meat and potato fire and ice dinner would be awesome for Father's Day, just so you know. Just an idea. Let's add more fire to this fire and ice. Sriracha seasoning. If you haven't had it before, get it. Do it. It's so good. It adds good heat without that vinegariness of sriracha. Also going to do garlic salt. It's a lot of potatoes. We want them to have a lot of flavor. And speaking of, let's add some ice to this heat. Ranch, powdered ranch. We're going to add about a half a packet. If you've never had ranch potatoes, they're super good. Now we're going to mix this together. Make sure everybody's got some flavor on them. Just to be different, as we all know I like to be, I'm going to cook these for 30 minutes, uncovered, in a 380 degree oven. Why 380? Because that's what I felt like. No other reason. I will see you in 30. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grill some corn. I've Wash this corn off, melted a few tablespoons of butter, 
and I'm going to add the rest of that ranch, that dry ranch, and just a pinch of salt. It already looks stinking good, doesn't it? So I'm going to spread this around. I'm going to put the corn directly on the grill. And once it's done, which will only be a few minutes actually, I'm going to bring it in, let it cool. Then we're going to cut the corn off and put it in our potatoes. What? Pretty crazy, right? Booyah! Check it out. This corn is cooked and good. Got some good char on it. We're going to let that cool. Next, at the 30 minute mark, when our potatoes come out, we're going to put in some green pepper and some onion. And I'm going to dice them up because it's not fajitas. It's just peppers, onions, meat, cheese, oh man. If you don't have one of these, they're awesome. You'll see why. Check this out. Just like butter, buttered corn. It makes no time of doing this. Booyah! Look at all that. All that goodness is going to be mixed in with those potatoes in 10 minutes. Oh yeah, they're sizzling. Let's give them a little stir. They smell awesome. Alright, let's add our goodies. This is an onion, green pepper, and corn. You thought you escaped. Shit. Listen to me. Alright. So, this is going to go back in the oven for another 15 minutes. And that's going to make sure these potatoes are fork tender and the additional veg that I put in get cooked. So they're not too crunchy and too... Check out my meat. Mm. Now like I told you before, this is skirt steak. Or flank steak. So you see how the, the, these little lines here, they're going like this. Never cut with the, with the, you want to turn it sideways. You want to cut against the grain. And that'll make it super tender. I'm going to cut this again into bite-sized chunks. I can tell you right now, before I started cutting it, I licked my finger. After I moved it, I rewashed it. And it was good. Yep. So we're going to just keep all these into bite sized pieces. And you can see it's cooked medium. I let it rest under some tin foil for about 10 minutes, and it's so juicy. I don't care that it's a little rare in the middle because it's going back in the oven. If you recall, I did say this is the ultimate meat and potato dinner. It's man food, people. You gotta have more than one meat. This is smoked sausage that I cooked on the grill along with my uh, flank steak. Now we're just waiting on them taters ultimate meat, potatoes, fire, ice, cheese. What's not to love? And all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Oh, sugar shit. Check that out. You hear it squeaking? Oh yeah, these are fork tender. Look at all that goodness.
Let's put half of our meat in. Give it a mix. Half of this meat can go in too. Look at all that juice in there. That's some juice of meat. It's about to get real. Let's bring in the ice. Ranch dressing. Next, Chalua. You can use Frank's Red Hot. You can use whatever you want. Today, I chose this. Why? Because I felt like it. Doesn't that look good already? Holy crap. Fire and ice. I'm digging it. But we're not done yet. Kobe Jack Cheese. We're going to do all two cups as well. Booyah! I just got the big eyes from Mrs. Dick. The rest of our meat, we're going to place it on there so it's nice looking. It's tasty meats. Tasty taters. I'm here to tell you, if this don't fill yet, you, you can't be full. This is going back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Ah, scram! Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, so we're going to let this cool for about 10 minutes before we carve into it. Carnivore food. Man food. You gotta love cheesiness and potato ness. Yum city. Let's throw this jalapeno on there for good measure. Ah, uh, shiggy shiggy. Check it out. Alright, I hope you try it. Man food, good food. Jimmy,